Thank you for joining us today. In this issue, we will walk you through installing the Exchange 2010 hybrid server. In this case, we will install the full server and use it for hybrid purposes. First thing you'll want to do is install your disk and select Setup. You'll need to pay attention to the different <coughs> steps that are necessary. You'll need to have .NET Framework 3.5 SP1 and Windows PowerShell V2 installed. Uh, these come default in the application server role for server 2008 R2. Next, go ahead and select Choose Exchange Language Options. and install Microsoft Exchange. Once you get to the setup page, select Next, accept the terms of agreement, select Next again, select Enable Error Reporting. Uh, in this case, we will refrain from that since it's strictly a test environment, and select Next. Select, in this case, I'm going to be installing the typical Exchange Server install. What you need for the hybrid server is strictly the Hub Transport and CAS mailbox. And then select Next. If this is your first organization, then name it whichever you want otherwise it will add on to your current exchange environment and then select next again once you check out the once you select next you will be prompted to check for Outlook 2003 being run on your organization, since we do not, and Office 2003 does not support it, we, we will... Next you will receive a prompt for confirming whether you are running Outlook 2003 in your organization. Since Office 365 does not support it, we will select No, and select Next. Next you will be selecting the name that your mailbox server, or your CAS specifically, will be facing towards the internet. Select the checkbox and name it whichever you prefer. You can select whether or not to use the Customer Experience Improvement Program. Since it's a test environment, I will not be. The first time the configuration readiness this check runs, it can take quite some time. Once that is completed, you will be required to expand your schema. Now you notice that this failed on organization prerequisites, basically meaning that the directory schema has not been updated. Once you get this message, follow the instructions by running PowerShell and then select and then running the indicated commandlet. All right, we've got PowerShell up, and as this is indicating, we would open up PowerShell, run import, run import dash module server manager and then we run add dash windows feature our sat dash adds
All right, now that that has been successfully installed, we need to restart the server. Once the server is successfully restarted, you'll need to select the languages again and install. Once that's done, you will get a indication that the setup has already been started and we can continue from that point. Select yes and it will run the readiness checks again. You will now get a message indicating that this will perform an AD schema update. The setup slash prepare AD will perform this and if you are installing Exchange Server 2010 solo uh, you will not be able to install any Exchange 03 or 2007 servers after this point and select install. You will see the progress of each of these steps and once this is completed you will get the results of each of the different steps. I have paused the time and let this complete outside of the time of this session because it can take quite a while. Once it's done you will get your completion statistics and then you select finish and have the check mark next to finalize the installation using EMC. It indicates setup has made changes and needs to reboot. Go ahead and reboot. Once EMC is loaded after the restart, go ahead and click on the Microsoft Exchange on premise and wait for it to connect to the server. You will now be able to see the different objects and configurations you can manage. And what you will need to do at this point is to right click on Microsoft Exchange and select Add Exchange Forest. At this point, you can select Exchange Online, name this whichever you want, and select OK. You'll need to Log in. And once that loads, you will see the new organization for configuration. And you will see the nice banner page saying, Welcome to Exchange Online. You now have the option to configure and manage any of the Office 365 objects that you have set up and synced. Once you have this set up, you can then go through and set up an organization relationship and Exchange Federation. We will cover those options in another video. Have a great day and thanks for attending.